Another area of branding for me, branding I think is very individual. It's, it's what works for you is the way I dress. So I always wear a tie, it makes me feel smarter. You know, <laughs> I have to do it. Um, and it's regardless of whether, you know, it's 100 degrees outside and I'm on a walk through with my clients. Uh, I almost passed out one time because I had this thing tied to my neck. <laughs> but I look good doing it, yeah, exactly. Um, <coughs> So what it is, is I've had clients that have bought their second home with me and they said, hey, you know, Sam, you don't really need to dress on a Sunday afternoon like this to come and show us houses. Relax, chill out a little bit, you know. We know each other, it's fine. My attitude always is, is that if I'm working for you, my client, then I'm representing you, I'm projecting an image, I'm projecting your image. So, you know, if I turn up and we look at a house and the sellers are there and I turn up in a Hawaiian shirt and slippers, you know, that's great. I've seen realtors do that sort of thing. It's not for me. Maybe it works for some realtors. It doesn't work for me because I feel that if we're in a situation where we're bidding on a place against other contracts, they, if they remember me, he's the guy that looked professional, they're probably going to take my contract much more seriously. Um, more often than, I mean, I've several times I've written contracts, we've been competing, and I'll write a letter on behalf of my clients just to give some insight, information, a story about them. And that's been successful several times for me. So I think projection in terms of representation, a professional look, is very, very important. And that's a big aspect of branding for me.